This is part eight of my video series aimed at people just taking their first steps with the drums and it's aimed at getting you up and drumming, haha, uh, and learning a few basic grooves and fills and taking you to the point that you can confidently start playing along to some music, which is something you should start doing as soon as possible anyway regardless of whether you've followed certain steps or not. In this video, I'm going to show you a bunch of basic rhythmic patterns that you can use to start building fills out of. You're gonna learn how to verbalize these, to sing them, and then we're gonna mix and match the patterns to make some interesting patterns that you can then figure out how to play around the drum kit in different ways. We're going to learn four patterns today using syllables from a language called Takademi, which is a, a system of rhythmic vocalization. I'll leave some information down in the comments if you want to read about it. But basically, it's a westernized version of rhythm syllables nicked from the Indian uh, rhythmic solfege system called conical. Well, there's a rabbit hole for you. Uh, but meanwhile, so we keep at the business at hand, um, I'm going to just show you the patterns. We've got four patterns that we're going to look at today. And again, the key is to verbalize or sing these to yourself, and then we're going to learn how to play them on the drums. So the first pattern is takadimi, takadimi, four syllables, takadimi, and all the other patterns relate to those syllables. So learn how to say takadimi. Now, if we take out the mi, we're left with takadi. That's the second pattern, takadi. So we've got takadi mi takadi, two patterns. Again, make sure you're going to memorize these. You can write it down if you like, or I'll provide a sheet with this information. The next one is ta di mi. It's what happens when we take out the ka, ta di mi. So we have takadi mi, takadi, ta di mi, and finally, if we take out the ka and the mi, we end up with ta di. So our four patterns are taka di mi, taka di, ta di mi, ta di. Now, let's play those on the kit a little bit and just get used to each one. Sticks in hand and taka di mi, right-handed drummers, I recommend you play this right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. And uh, Try and stick to the stickings that I recommend until you're pretty well used to these patterns. Uh, once you know them fluently, you can try different stickings, but just for the sake of uh, ease and uh, comfortable adaptation, if you like, we're going to keep the stickings, or I'm recommending anyway, uh, recommending or ordering, I don't know. Maybe it's uh, reverse psychology. I suggest you do exactly as I tell you. Right, so, onwards, takadimi. Takadimi, right, left, right, left. Let's just play that a bunch of times, and the singing is important. Takadimi, it's not really singing. Whatever I'm doing, verbalizing. Takadimi, dimi, takadimi, 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 dimi, takadimi, 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 takadimi. Done. Practice that a little bit. Try and get your sticking to be as close to in sync with your voice as you possibly can. The next pattern, takadi. We're going to practice that a little bit. And we're going to play that right, left, right. Takadi, 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 takadi. So it's like right, left, right, left, but I've taken out the left at the end. Takadi, 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 takadi. Good. The next pattern, ta dimi. Again, we've taken out the ka, right, left, right, left. I've taken out the first left hand stroke of the four notes. So ta dimi, right, right, left. Ta dimi, ta dimi. Do the same sticking as I'm doing if you know what's good for you. Ta dimi, 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 ta dimi. And finally, the last pattern, ta di. We're just going to play two right hand strokes because if we have right, left, right, left, and we take out the left hand strokes, we just end up with right, right. Okay? So ta di, 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 ta di. And you can change the sticking of that last one of the ta di to right, left if you want to. Again, left handers swap the directionality, do left, right, left, right, instead of right, left, right, left, obviously. So, we've got our four patterns, and the next thing we're gonna do is just 
play around the drum set with those patterns. If you've got uh, this kind of setup where you've got a snare and three toms, you can just play each pattern once on each drum and I'm going to go clockwise. Again, there's a million different ways you can do this, but this is just a way of starting to get yourself familiar with the movement of these patterns around the kit. So first, takadimi, 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 okay? Now, practice that. I'm doing this very quickly because you don't want to sit and watch me faffing around, but practice these patterns till you feel pretty comfortable moving them around the kit and uh, that will make things easier when we get to the next stage. So, after takadimi comes takadi. Takadi, 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 takadi. Right, left, right. Then, tadimi, right, right, left. Tadimi, 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 tadimi. Finally, tadi, ooh, creaky chair. Finally, tadi, tadi, Ta di ta di ta di. Or if you like, do with two hands. Ta di ta di ta di ta di. Something like that. Uh, if you don't have this arrangement, and you're a sensible person who only has two toms, you can just go from the snare to the high tom, then snare to the floor tom, like ta ka di mi ta ka di mi ta ka. Okay, that's how we're going to do that. Now, once you've uh, learned how to sing or say each one of those patterns and you really know them fluently, um, you can start playing them around the kit as a fill. Uh, I'm, I'm going to start off uh, very simply just using the, the snare drum. But, for example, if we just take taka dimi, taka dimi, uh, which means we're going to play on the third beat of a bar to make a fill. And I'll uh, demonstrate what that means now. I'm just going to play one bar of a basic beat with the bass uh, on the, the first note of the bar, uh, and then I'm going to play taka dimi, taka dimi, where the three would be. So if I'm going one and two and three and four and when the three happens, I'm going to play the takadimi takadimi instead, like this. One and two and takadimi takadimi. Okay? One and two and takadimi takadimi. One and two and takadimi takadimi. So this is the second stage. Once you've got used to each pattern, you're going to work on getting comfortable with each pattern played on the third beat of the bar. So we're going uh, next pattern, takadi, right, left, right. One and two and takadi, takadi. 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 Next one, tadimi, right, right, left. One and two and tadimi, tadimi. One. Two and ta di mi ta di mi one. Two and ta di mi ta di mi one. Two and ta di mi ta di mi. And finally the ta di. One and two and ta di ta di. One and two and ta di ta di. Or one, two and ta di ta di. If you want to do it that way. Once you're feeling comfortable playing each pattern within a single bar of music, we're going to then turn that into playing a four bar phrase. So I'm going to count, you can see in one of the previous videos how I explain how to count a four bar phrase. I'm going to count a four bar phrase and play the various patterns as my fill at the end of the four bar phrase. I'm not going to demonstrate every single one now, but let's just take takadi and I'll show you an example of that. Uh, I'm just going to play the four bar phrase on the hi-hat and just pick any one of the beats that we've already learned or if you figured out some other beats in the meantime, um, that's cool. Do whatever beat you, you want to do. But I'm going to start with the crash on the one and then I'm going to play a four bar phrase like this. One and two and three and four and two and two and three and four and three and two and and four and four and two and tuck a D, tuck a D. One, 
Get yourself comfortable with each one of those patterns so that you can play them in a four bar phrase uh, and keep saying it out loud or singing it out loud to yourself because it really, really helps with uh, remembering these phrases and it also helps kind of to cement the stickings and allow you to get these uh, patterns flowing together. Now, once you understand and have memorized each pattern, you can try learning how to mix them up. So at the moment, I'm just demonstrating fills uh, with two beats, with two quarter notes worth of uh, notes. So basically, I'm singing a combination of sixteenths and eighth notes. And um, in that context, on the three and four and, we're playing our fill. So that means we're filling up two beats worth or two quarter notes worth of the bar. And that means if we look at each one of the patterns that I showed you as, as one beat, we can mix them and make different patterns. So for example, uh, we take takadimi and ta di and we make up a fill, right? So we go takadimi ta di, takadimi ta di, takadimi ta di. Okay, there's a fill for you. Uh, let's take another combination takadi ta dimi, takadi ta dimi. Now, if you can sing, am I making my point about this? If you can sing these uh, sounds, this combination of syllables, these rhythms, um, it makes it really much easier to learn how to improvise and be fluent. Taka di ta di. What did I do? Taka di ta di mi. I forgot which one I did now. Okay, whatever. Taka di ta di mi. Taka di ta di mi. You can combine them in any way. Taka di mi ta di. Taka di ta di mi. Taka di mi ta di. Taka di mi taka di mi. Taka di ta di mi ta di mi. Taka di ta di mi. Taka di mi ta di. Taka di mi ta di. Tadi takadimi tadi tadimi tadimi takadi tadimi, and get used to doing that. There's 16 possibilities of these um, combinations of um, syllables that will give you um, a whole whole bunch of stuff you can do. But we're just dealing with four. Get good at those now. Once you can fluently uh, say them out loud and apply them to playing on the snare drum as a fill, the next thing to do is just improvise with using them around the kit. And some people will find this a little bit easier than others, so um, it's kind of in the spirit of kind of go for it and see what happens, uh, and don't worry too much about the consequences. By experimentation, you can get good at it. Okay, now again, the um, famous fill that I demonstrated in uh, one of my earlier videos, Oh You Knucklehead, or Tadi Takadi, was Ta di ta ka di. It was arranged around the drums that way. So we had the right hand on the snare, right hand on the high tom, right left on the snare, right on the floor tom. Uh, let's take a different combination. If we just go ta ka di mi ta ka di mi, very simple. I could go ta ka di mi ta ka di mi. I can go ta ka di mi ta ka di mi. Ta ka di mi ta ka di mi. Ooh, that felt a bit clumsy. But you know, see what works, what sounds good. Ta di mi ta di mi. Any sort of combination, you can make loads of different fill patterns. Um, once you get comfortable, you can also play the tardi as a two-handed thing. I mean, you could play taka dimi with two hands as well if you want to, but don't bite off more than you can chew. Taka dimi tardi. That might be also a few notes in succession. Uh, again, experimenting, that's the key. What we want to get to is first and foremost being able to play those two beats, the three and the four of a bar, and combine any of those patterns that we want. Let's have a go. One and two and three and four and two and two and three and four and three, two and three and four and four and two, taka dimi ta di one and two and three and four. Two and two and three and four and two and three and four four and two and ta di mi ta ka di one two and three and four and two and two and three and four 
three and two and three and four and four and two and taka di taka di one two and three and four and two and two and three and four three and two and three and four four and two and taka di mi ta di mi one and two and three and four two and two and three and four three and two and three and four and four and two and ta di mi ta ka di one two and three and four like it had a crash over there and three and four and three and two and and four and four and two and ta ka di ta ka di push and there you have it a little introduction into making up your own fills by learning how to sing some rhythmic patterns and apply them to playing on the drum kit. When we take a pattern and apply it to playing on different drums and cymbals, that's called orchestration. Um, but we're just playing it around the kit is the way I would refer to it most of the time. Um, now, once you've got the hang of doing that fluently, obviously get out some of your favourite songs and try applying those fills to uh, the appropriate positions in the song. And you can just as easily play a fill that's a, a bar long. So you could go taka dimi ta dimi taka di ta di bush, whatever it might be. That's it, a simple formula for starting to develop your ability to play fills around the kit. I forgot to mention one really good benefit of singing these to yourself is that you can practice playing patterns any way you like. So I very often walk around and I'm singing taka dimi patterns Taka dimi ta di taka mi taka di kadimi kadimi ta di taka di and coming up with rhythmic ideas from that. So it's kind of cool. Get into singing. I, I say this in every video, I think, but get into singing or verbalizing things. It's the best thing you can do to develop your sense of music. Thank you very much for watching this. I would love to hear what you thought about this video. Was it helpful? Uh, was it well explained or not, I'm really interested in feedback, uh, God help me, I will be making more videos, so another thing you could give me some feedback about or information about is what you would like to see me cover in the future. Now, I think it's time you should go away and practice.